My name is Louis Garros, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the DealMaker protocol. Now, the DealMaker protocol is a system that was created over the past two years at a firm called Savvy Capital, which I was the COO of. My business partner, Alex Zastri, is currently the CEO, and he's operating that firm. Now, Savvy Capital is a fully-fledged investment bank. At the time of recording this, we've done over half a billion dollars in transactions, both in the public markets, that's for companies that are public, IPOs, as well as in the private markets, where we've been able to generate millions of dollars in investment for our clients. And more recently, I've created a firm called Cadenwood Capital with another business partner named Dominic Spooner. He used to work at Canaccord, which is one of the largest investment banks in Canada. He's been responsible for doing billions of dollars in transactions. We started this firm not six weeks ago, and we've already done a $128 million transaction, of which we've taken five points. So I'm going to dive into the business model very shortly here. But at a high level, what we are doing is providing advisory services to clients, to businesses, either capital raising services, M&A services, deal origination, or taking companies public, their go public strategy. And we are taking very high upfront fees in addition to success fees, which is really where this model shines. This is where you can create tremendous amounts of wealth for yourself on those back end fees. So, really, this is a system where you can make $10 million a year within two years, even if you have absolutely no finance experience or even business experience for that matter. And the deal maker system is guaranteed to generate you more than $100,000 a month in cash flow consistently. This is not taking into consideration the back end fees. And you are going to be able to do this within 180 days guaranteed. We stand by that because we've not only been able to do this ourselves numerous times for multiple firms, but we've also taught this to 10 plus students who've been able to get over that mark since January, 2024. And if you don't get there, we will refund you in full. That is how confident we are in this system. Now, this accelerator is an incubator program that combines investment banking and digital marketing. And I've used it to create a multiple eight figure business in less than two years. And our students are fast approaching this in less than half the time. Now, ideal students, there are a few different archetypes that quantify as an ideal student. The first is if you come from a finance background. So you are someone who went down the traditional path. Maybe you went to school or maybe you've been exposed to finance as I was, and you're looking for a way to circumvent the traditional path it takes to get to eight figures and get there in a few years, as opposed to a decade or 15 years. Now, the other archetype of an ideal student is an online marketer. This is someone who's currently running a successful agency. Maybe you are a singular growth operator, business owner, or you're running an agency with a successful offer. You're doing at least over five figures a month in profit, and you're looking for a new model to leverage your expertise. Now, the third archetype are salespeople. These are remote closers, account reps, B2B, B2C sales pros, currently working an offer and earning over five figures a month in take home. And they're looking for the best business model to pivot into and get away from closing to actually become an entrepreneur and leverage your sales experience. Now, a lot of guys will wait till the end of these videos to share pricing. Now we've played around with a few different pricing models and we've really landed on the $50,000 mark as the incubator fee. So this can either be paid in full in cash or financing or $60,000 paid in installments. And we've got a few different options. You can either do an upfront fee deposit with financing, and then thereafter you can do a monthly fee. We can take equity or profit share. And then obviously we have financing options available. So case studies and testimonials. Once you've gone through this, you will see why we are capable of commanding that kind of fee. So Brendan, he came in literally in April, 2024. Before that, he was the top closer for Tuzer. He was earning $20,000 a month on average. His best month, I think was 25,000. He's 19 years old. And when he was closing, 
he was working 14 hours a day. When he joined, we very quickly on-ramped him. We got his offer set up. We got him on the phone with guys raising private equity funds. And now he's only working two hours a day because he only takes a few calls a day. He checks in with his clients. He's got a team managing his operations and he's signing six to eight clients every single month at 15 to 25K a pop. He was making that a month. And now he's doing that in a single client, just in the upfront fees, not taking into consideration the success fees. And most recently, he closed a $200 million private equity deal in August, which was literally just about a week and a half ago. And he commissioned $6 million. Started with Lewis April. Up to date, the firm can get investors to bring up to $5 billion in investment-ready capital to the table. We've raised $200 million. To date, I'll show you the screenshot for that. Lewis is going to be you guys' advisor. He's going to give you guys everything you need to know to be able to make this business work. He's going to give you the pathway. I used to be working 14-hour days. Biggest month I had was probably 25K a month. Now I'm making 50K a week in my sleep on engagement fees. Next is Vincent Paris. He was running a lead generation company and ListKit was his top client. Now he was earning about $30,000 a month when he jumped in in January. He was in the first cohort of this program. He closed $170,000 in his first four weeks, and he stabilized around two hundred to $400,000 a month in engagement fees. And in July, he closed his first transaction for $250 million, and he took home $7 million as a success fee. We're starting to see some traction over here, which is great. I've partnered with an investment bank, and we do... We do funding rounds where we, we help them connect to investors quite similar to what you guys are doing. Next is Bernardo. Now, he was also working a lead generation agency, but for venture capitalists. And then he transitioned to raising funds for VCs after joining the program. And he was earning pretty good money. He was making $50,000 a month, but now he's charging twenty-five dollars to $100,000 per deal in engagement fees, that's upfront paid in full, plus success. He collected $150,000 in his first five weeks, and he's doing well over $100,000. He's got a ton of success fees in the pipeline right now. That's a screenshot of him showing me that he bought his first patty. They helped me set up the offer more specifically, go over some of the infrastructure and internal operations to scale. In the last week alone, we did about 47,000 USD. We have about 100,000 in, in contracts and reference checks. Max Dowis, 18 years old. He's got a very eclectic background, you could say. He spent his adolescence in prison in Holland, as a matter of fact. And his story is very widely known in his country. You can actually search up his name and you can see a bunch of news articles about him. But you can think about the worst circumstances to come from growing up. And I think he falls into that category. And despite that, he's been able to make something incredible for his life. He's now an 18-year-old millionaire and we were able to do this inside eight months. So he had no previous business experience. He found us on Twitter. He hit us up and we taught him the model. We took him on as a protege. And he made $75,000 in his third month. Okay, he had two months of grinding hard, making almost no money. Maybe you signed a client here, a client there. But then in March, that's when things really started to click. He made $75,000. And then he flew over to Vancouver from where he was staying. And he spent several months with us and he really dialed in his offer. They helped me with a lot. They helped me um, get a different view on running my company, doing things differently when it comes down to uh, to client acquisition, sales calls, offer generation, uh, handling operations inside of the business. So professional history, I come from not only a marketing background, but I was also mentored in wealth management. So uh, between 2019 and 2022, I assisted in multi-billion dollar transactions. I worked on gold bullion deals, gold bullion transactions, primarily in North Africa to Dubai, as well as Spain, precious metals and stones transactions, and all off-market bond deals. And the way that we operated is my mentor had a very small book of very high net worth clients. I can't speak to the names, but these were royal families in uh, MENA region, primarily as well as families in North America and Europe. And what we did is essentially what we're doing with our model here with DealMaker. We are simply connecting people who either want deals or people with money, and we are taking a piece of the transaction in the middle. And this is a Gold Dory bar from one of the refineries that I went to. This is me in a gold refinery that we, my mentor ended up purchasing in Spain. Now, Alex Zastry, he has the utmost 
most proficiency in large scale influencer marketing campaigns for publicly traded companies. He's driven over half a billion dollars in retail volume. He came from a crypto background. So in, in the digital asset run of 2021, he drove over $300 million in retail volume. And that's where he got his start, right? He was making $250,000 a contract during this run. And he really didn't have much experience previous to that. He had a very boutique agency where he was probably doing 15 K a month. And then all of a sudden he found a gold mine offer and he ran with that. And then when we teamed up together to start Savvy Capital, we moved into the private markets. And now Savvy Capital is a fully fledged investment bank, fully licensed, fully registered. And that's us talking to one of our most successful clients. We raised, uh, that's Zane Callion, who is a merchant banker in Vancouver. And we did $21.5 million for his company, Infinity Stone Ventures. And if you go on the Savvy Capital YouTube, you can see that interview that we filmed with him. So this was a uh, balance right after we collected some success fees. So we're a premier investment bank for the low mid market. Alex is currently the CEO and I was the COO as I alluded to at the beginning of the video before I stepped down to run my own shop. And we essentially went from zero to eight figures, multi eight figures between February, 2023 and present day. Here's one of the ad accounts. Now our ad accounts always get shut down, but you can see here our primary channel for acquisition at Savvy Capital is running Facebook ads. And that's something that we're going to show you inside of the program. And our ROAS or return on ad spend is quite significant. It's well over 10. So for every dollar we put into ads, we make $10 back. Here's a term sheet we got for an energy deal for $50 million. I believe we took six points on this deal. Here's one for 25 million that we did back in August. This was a year ago at this point, almost. Here's one success fee that came in back in March. Now, Cadenwood. So Cadenwood's a boutique merchant bank. I partnered with my mentor in investment banking, Dominic Spooner, and also some other advisors. And this is something that we're gonna show you inside of the program as well. How to borrow credibility, how to go out, find a chair, how to find mentors and take their breadth of experience and knowledge and all of their transaction history and imbue that into your new co into your firm. So now you're not just, you know, Alex with a brand new company or little Lewis with a brand new company, brand new merchant bank, Cadenwood. Now you are suddenly a firm that's done $8 billion in transactions and 40 years in capital markets experience. So we successfully completed a $128 million transaction in three weeks. So this was back in July and we are gonna make five points on that deal spread out over the next few months as that money trickles in. And that transaction was for a real estate fund. So what we did is we essentially raised a pool of money that can be drawn upon every time that they go and actually do a development. And once that money goes into the fund, we get our commission. So it's not 5% of the 128 all at once. It's going to be in increments as all of that is dispersed into specific projects. So the business model, I'm sure you're all wondering at this point, right? Simply put, we offer investment banking advisory services to businesses either seeking capital, so debt or equity, buy or sell side M&A, deal origination, or IPO slash go public. Now, a firm is going to specialize in one of these advisory services. For our students, we mainly focus on capital raising. Why? Because it's in the private markets, the deal flow is quite simple, and the fulfillment process of finding investors is a lot easier than, say, taking a company public where you have to go to hundreds of thousands of investors and take very small increments of money as opposed to going to, to one or two investors and get millions all at once or hundreds of millions all at once. Now, the competitive advantage we have is utilizing digital marketing domain expertise to outperform traditional investment banks. Now, here's what I mean. If you go to a traditional investment bank and you engage them and you want to either sell your company or raise money, they're going to have their list of clients, maybe 10 clients that they're going to bring your deal to. And if the 10 clients that they bring the deal to don't want anything to do with it, there's not really much they're going to do beyond that. And they're going to charge you $50,000 upfront as a engagement fee, a retainer of 10, 15,000 a month, plus 8% in cash of whatever is raised and 8% in broker's warrants. So it's a crazy structure that they use to be remunerated for their services. And they're not really doing too much on the fulfillment end. It's a common problem. The common thing that people are upset about with the industry when they go and engage an investment bank. 
So what we're able to do is take our marketing and instead of going after only 10 clients, we can go after hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, and in a very short iteration where we can stack up 20, 30, 40 meetings for a client in a matter of weeks and get a deal done. So we have the advantage of the mass scale approach that marketing offers as well as the traditional approach. So we use both of these in conjunction with one another. So what are the unit economics? So you charge upfront fees of 5,000 on the absolute low end to 100,000 or even more on the high end. And that's obviously going to be depending on the level of work and the size of the transaction. And you can see one $90,000 fee that we got in from a company called Austin Gold. And we brought them $15 million in trading volume between January and February of 2024. And actually you can go and check their ticker. It's AUST and you can see that spike in volume. So standard practice is charging a success fee. 1.5% on the low end, and this is primarily for debt deals, and then 4 to 10% on the high end, and this is for equity deals. Now, when dealing with a licensed broker, which we'll get to, you can also charge broker warrants, which are essentially options to buy stock at a discount. And this is where you can get a significant amount of torque once you're licensed. Now, your firm is going to run on 50 to $250,000 in cash flow from the engagement fees. These are the upfront fees, and this isn't abstract marketing speak. It's just the reality of the business model. And we have plenty of proof to validate, not just those four testimonials and case studies that I showed above. But if you go to the YouTube channel or you go to Twitter, you can see a plethora of other ones as well. Now, many of you are going to think this is enough to make this model pencil. However, where you actually build wealth is on the success fees. So say you engage a company raising $10 million and you take 5% of the transaction. Now you're going to charge them $20,000 to get the work done. But once you get the deal done, that's $500,000 for a single deal, straight profit directly directly to you and your partners, granted if you have any. And then you do a few of those deals a year on top of all the engagements and you have an eight-figure firm. And that's not outside of the ordinary and it's exactly what we did in our second year. And it's almost where a lot of the students are at. And we only started this eight months ago. So what do you do with the money? Now, this is Steve Schwartzman. He's my idol. He started Blackstone and one of the gentlemen, Larry Fink, who worked for him, uh, started BlackRock. Now, what What did they do when they started Blackstone? So Steve Schwartzman used to be a managing director and a partner at Lehman Brothers before it went down in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And when he went off to start Blackstone with his mentor, Pete Peterson, are you seeing a a pattern here? I'm taking my model directly from him. They first did advisory services in M&A to build an equity pool, and then they went out and raised a fund to go and invest in their own deals. So you need that first initial pool of equity before you can start doing your own deals. But this is where this model turns you into a nine-figure entrepreneur or even a billionaire. Now, you can either place a team or sell your company right off into the sunset, or you can go down the private equity merchant banking route, which is exactly what Blackstone did. So bolstered up with your newfound skills, your team, your board, your enlarged ego, you're going to start doing your own deals, taking companies public, doing M&A transactions of your own, raising a private equity fund to consolidate a specific sector. The possibilities are endless, and this is a sport you can play until the day you die. And this is how you create $100 million or more in wealth become a billionaire or in Blackstone's case, have trillions of dollars or a trillion, I think it's $1.1 trillion in assets under management. Now, here is the roadmap and curriculum. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I'm just going to go over the broad strokes and also break down what the expenses are because you'd be surprised. It's actually a lot leaner than you might think in terms of a business model. You can realistically make it run for between $5,000 and $10,000 at the absolute most, even when you're starting because a lot of that's upfront costs, like setting up an email server, getting your website set up, these sorts of things. So what we go over is the capital advisory offer creation. So this is identifying whether you're going to go into capital raising, M&A, et cetera. We're going to go over how you're going to put your board together. We're going to set up your website, your corporate structure, et cetera. And this is going to be around $3,000 on the high end if you decide to get a really nice website. Next is building out your acquisition channels. Now, the lifeblood of the business is predicated on you being able to send out tons of emails, or run ads. And this is going to cost you between $1,000 and $3,000. And this is mainly just to get the email server set up. Now we're going to go into deal origination and sales. So this is how you can 
get access to our own databases of PitchBook, Precon, Crunchbase, Apollo. We spend over $100,000 a year on data. We're going to give you access to this. Whenever you need a specific list, we will scrape it for you is what I mean by that. We're going to go into sales process training. The other thing is the sales process here is actually a lot easier than a lot of the sales you may have already done. Why? Because you don't have to overcome any objections. You don't have to deal with limiting beliefs. You're dealing with people who are already incredibly successful. You just have to show them a linear, logical argument as to how you are going to provide value to them. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that in the program. We're going to give you all the agreement templates that we've spent tens of thousands of dollars on our lawyers to create. We are going to talk about the eventual placement of analysts and VPs, et cetera. So you can really build out the team within your firm. And all of this is realistically free to begin with the deal origination once you've gotten your acquisition channels built out. And then we're going to talk about backend fulfillment. This is where the real money's made. So we're going to give you access to our network of investors and bankers. We're going to show you how to deal structure. We're going to give you all the fulfillment resources that you need. This is teaser templates, email templates, all the systems, et cetera. And then support one in one booking link. Whenever you need help, you book in directly with us. You're going to get my number. You're going to get Alex's number along with any of the other coaches in the program. Okay. For 24 seven text and phone support, we're going to review all your calls. And also this is a big thing. When you need references at the beginning to get deals across the line, we are going to be those references for you. So like I said, monthly expenses will vary on the low end, $3,000 to 10,000 on the high end. And this is before you start hiring good talent. Once you start hiring good talent, that's when your expenses are going to increase, but you're only going to do that once you're making more than hundred thousand dollars a month. So timeline, our aim is to have you close your first deal in 21 days. We've had students do it in a week. Okay. Some students take 60 days to do it. Again, our guarantee is you get there in 180 days, 180 days, you're going to be making over $100,000 a month with this model at around 60 to 70% margins. Okay. If you haven't booked a call already, you're going to be able to book one around this video. Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or Twitter. If you have any questions for myself directly, and I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you learned something in this video. And if I have the pleasure of working with you, I want to tell you that I am absolutely committed to your success. I get such fulfillment out of showing people this model because of what it's been able to do for me and what it's been able to do for my students. So from the bottom of my heart, if you join, we're going to make this happen together. Look forward to working with you.